Hi everyone, my name is Carolina and I'm from Italy. I'm an undergrad uh, student in design and management minoring in Chinese studies. So I thought the best way to tell you what happened more than the research itself was to show you my uh, website. I put up a blog in my website, which is nextblur.com, which is called The China Explorer. So it's day by day, every day I did this. And I'm going to flip through them like really quickly because I only have five minutes, but... Um, so the bad, the bad, the bad and the good. Um, well, I went through a lot. Um, <laughs> so got involved into like a, like a mob thingy, like people were protesting in front of the cellular store. I was going to get my SIM card back. That was interesting. <laughs> but uh, this is the boon, Shanghai the boon. Um, amazing. And uh, this is a supermarket, if you guys are interested. Um, so this is our other people that were there. And first of all, I wanted to thank everyone that gave me this grant and my teacher, Li Ping, everyone at IC, uh, ICI it was amazing. And thank you. So this is the, our campus. Birds, instead of walking their dogs, as you can see by the picture that it's kind of not showing. The thing that I love the most about Shanghai was that the first week I was there, not speaking very well the language, I was kind of lost because everyone spoke in Chinese where I lived and I went there by myself, there was no one with me. And then after the first couple of weeks of going through all this thing and adjusting, I understood that in China, it's not that people like, well, the first week I thought that people didn't want to talk to me. It wasn't that I didn't want to talk to me. It was just that I didn't, you know, I couldn't really communicate with them well, and I just went in thinking, oh, these people are just mad at me. They're talking to me with this weird accent. Like, why, are, why do they look mad? They weren't looking mad. They were just speaking using their tones, and I couldn't understand that that was why they looked so mad, but they were just trying to be friendly and trying to explain to me what I was supposed to do. So after I understood, after I was able to grasp the language and understand my surroundings, it was an amazing experience. And um, as far as my research goes, I was able to interview the ex-CFO of Nike and Polaroid, and he gave me some really good insights about how the market in China goes, meaning how now China has become so independent because so many people relied on producing things in China, that now China is starting to make the things that people were asking them to do for them. It's trying to start to do that, 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 that kind of stuff by themselves, which means I have to buy a new phone because I lost my phone in China. I bought a Chinese phone that looks exactly like an iPhone, was cost $100, and that's the example of how China is now able to do the things that we ask them to do better than us for their own market. And I think this is why it's considered such a threat, but I see it more as an opportunity than a threat. And I think that that's like the most important thing that I took from this whole opportunity was to understand that you may have so many misconceptions about China and so many things that they told me when I started to study Chinese, which was that China is going to take over and whatever. I mean, of course it is because we allowed for that to happen because we gave them, we wanted them, like, it's kind of like we use their resources and now we get mad because they're better than us. Like they learned and we should just appreciate and understand how they were able to do that and emulate them, I think. And so that's as far as my research goes. But other than that, um, I think you should definitely try, try to do the grant. I'm an undergraduate student, I tried and it was amazing and I definitely, I'm much more comfortable right now with China and I want to pursue these studies, finish my minor and continue studying Chinese because it's awesome. Great.